Hi guys, it's Friday evening. About 8.30, just gone 8.30 action. Yes, I've had this bike up here because I've added a rear reflector and uh, a second set of lights, as I always do with my own bikes. Um, but that's not what this video is going to be about today. I want to boost charge the camera. And while that's uh, charging, I'm going to have a clean up in here. Just to make a little bit of room, you know, I can chuck that back in the outside cupboard and that and those handlebars can go on the outside cupboard. So just have a general clean up. And then what I am going to do is put my foot up the cat's ass just to get him out of the way. Oh, turning a light on might help. I'm going to take this into the lounge because I have finally decided I'm going to take all the guts out of that one and put in that case because I actually like that case better. I don't like this case. Um, what I'm going to do with it afterwards I don't know. It might just end up being thrown out, given away, I don't know. So I'm going to get on with that and uh, I'll come back once I'm ready. Okay, I think I'm ready. I've uh, got this one stripped out ready because I still had the old Windows XP um, stuff in it. And I've gone ahead and uh, emptied it out of this one. So, uh, the only thing I didn't get is something a little lower. Oh, it doesn't matter what I can use. I was just thinking. <coughs> I was going to need something I could perhaps set you on so you can somewhat see. I need that power supply around the side and the screws. If you ever just bear with me a second because I'm actually going to do some shuffling around. I really need you guys. If I can. I was hoping I could do that without dropping the camera, but I was just hoping I could get as much in shot as I can. Make life a bit easier. And I've got my uh, headlight on as well. I have now, so I can see what I'm doing in there. It keeps your hands free as well if you use a headlight. Hey, help a cat. No, help a cat is running off. Okay, do it all on my own then. Now, I'm going to start. Just turn my screen a bit more so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm going to start with the power supply. Let's use, I'm hoping, let go in the top. would go on the top if I uh, put it in up the right way, of course. Good way to tell if you've got it up the right way is that the um, label well, is usually facing outwards. So, that goes there. Turn the tower. And, of course, you just put your four screws in the back. I've got a magnetic screwdriver. Oh, they are a godsend in this. When you're doing fiddly things like this. Oh. Yeah, this is an old case as well, because uh oops. I'm flicking screws everywhere. Because uh, the power supply goes in the top, not the bottom. A lot of modern computer cases have the power supply go in the bottom. Which I actually think I prefer, and for some reason this has been an absolute bitch to get the bloody screws in. <laughs> as long as I get one started, that shouldn't be a problem. There we go. I think I've got that one started. Yeah. I'll get that one in. And screw down. And the other holes should stay lined up, theoretically. I'm about to find out. Oh, 
It would if I pushed the power supply back and I put the screw in. And you go and knock the screw and you knock it off. I haven't got a very steady hand either, that doesn't help. Right. There. Get the second screw in on the other side. And go over. So we've now got one there, one there, so I've just got one in there and one here to do. Two would hold it as it is, but I'd rather have all four in. That, one more. I've got one in the pile down here. Not that one. So that's that in. The other thing I'm going to do is take out the um, existing ROM drive because uh, it's not needed. I've got an SATA one I want to put in here, so I don't need a IDE type. So there's that screw. Did I put a screw in the other side? Yes, of course I did. I always do put one in either side. The number of PCs I've taken apart that don't put a screw in it, both sides. Right. And should be able to. Yeah, the DVD RW compact disc RW drive in there. It's basically what I'm going to put back in, but a SATA version, not a IDE. Right. I think, yeah, I just have to get the um, right I.O. plate because I've got two here. <laughs> and they or should pop straight in the back. Just like that. Once you get it all nicely lined up, that'll just pop straight in. Yep. Okay, so I think I'm ready for the motherboard. Now what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna have to lay the case down, so it's gonna be the easiest option. Move my feet out of the way. Shovel those cables up there out of the way. Those ones down bottom. Here is the motherboard going in. Oh yes, forgot about that. Well, I accidentally popped the um, clamp on the processor. <laughs> There, lock that back into place. There. It's all lining up. So, give it a quick look inside. There it is, and I've got one, two, three, four, six screws I've got to put in there. some behind me, I don't know if they're going to fit. But I'll put you back on there for a moment. What I'll do, I'll get a couple of screws start so I can get this um, held into place and then I'll tip the tower back up. So, that's screw number one. Two should be enough just to hold it in place. I've now got to, uh, there, there. I've now just got to go around putting in all the other screws. That was quite a fiddly one. Because they've put the memory slot 
right in the way. Let's do that. Uh, and I know I've got two this side. I never over tighten them because I don't want to damage the board, so. One just below the audio ports. It's usually the same layout of screws on most motherboards. Right, so now we've got to find a screw to do that last one with. I think it's one of these. It's going to be a different one because I've only got five of those ones. So long as it fits the um, standoff. There. Right. Uh, I suppose the fun part begins now. I've got to plug everything. Well, actually, no, I haven't. That one, no. Plugged in. Out why? I thought I was about to slide the DVD driver upside down. Right, we'll get that in, I'm going to get screw fitted this side. I'll do a screw the other side last. What did I do with the hard drive? Hello! I'm just going to screw the hard drive in next. No, there's my video card, an ATI. I don't like ATI. But that's all I've got. Oh. Well, it's here. What have I done with it? Ah, it's right behind me. So, I'll slide that in next. And a screw. what I always do, put a screw on this side, then I'll do the two on the other side when I'm done. Right, that's for the fan. Okay. So. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't believe I've done that. There we go. I'll trap that up on the... Um, DVD drive. Right, I'm going to shift position. So let me see. Oh. Took the fans off the other case. Those three um, five inch fans, I think they're uh, 120 millimeter fans, I can't remember. Doesn't say. Zalman fans though, I don't know if they're any good. Or at least two of them are Zalman, one is Cooler Master. DC 12 volt. Oh, I think I've got enough fans on this for the time being. Ooh, what did I just kick the old case? It's alright then. Don't give rats ass about the old case. Right. Now. Bring that a bit closer. I'll do the 12 volt connection, which is up there beside the uh, processor. But when I found it, I think it's this one. And they will only plug in one way. You ain't got to worry about getting them wrong. Yep, that's the one. How can I get that cable? Can I get that to go around this way? Just didn't want it hanging over the fan. Now I've got to do the main, I think this is a 26 pin power plug. It goes right in the middle of the board. Uh, memory was already plugged in. Right. 
Ooh, yeah, I've got three USB headers on this, so I could, for the sheer hell of it, put another USB thing on the back of this. <laughs> but this one is the front USB port, so I'm going to stick those on first. Yeah, I suppose it don't really matter what header they go on, as long as they go on one of them. And I've got another one labelled USB, but that is actually um, the card reader, so I'll do that one next. Card readers always connect to the uh, USB headers. Do the audio, which is usually over by the audio thing. Again, you can't go wrong because most of these will only go on the one way, so you haven't got to worry about plugging them in around the wrong way. Uh. Right. As for motherboard cables, I think I'm nearly there apart from the front panel. Uh, which looks like it's actually cut coded. Uh. Believe me if I said I'm doing this with a split and skull ache. <laughs> uh, I so wish at times I had modular um, power supply. I've got cables here I don't need. Well, not this precise moment I don't need them. I think they're meant for video cards, but my video card I'm using doesn't require them. Right, next. Um, what is going to be my next move? Can I actually... I know my head's in the way, i just got to see the... Um, But I think I've got it. Uh, power switch. Where's that one? It's the orange one, isn't it? Sometimes it's labelled. Sometimes it isn't. I was going to do one or two things. It'll either work or it won't. Reset switch usually goes underneath the power switch. The only ones that you could go wrong with are the LED ones, because if you don't put them on around the right way, they just won't light up. Typical LED. Um, I think when you look at a board like this, if I remember rightly, I always have one coloured wire, one white wire, and the coloured wire, I believe, goes to the left as you look at it. We'll soon find out if I'm right when I go to turn it on. Right, so I think that's the board connectors. All the board connect, well, no it isn't. I lied. I've got SAR cables to do. <laughs> I'll do those in a minute. Uh, what I'm going to do first. only got the two SATA power connectors, so I'm going to put one. <laughs> hmm. No. Okay. I've used the adapter, which I've got somewhere in here. Molex to um, SATA. I'll use that on the uh, CD drive, because I don't often use the CD drives. So, let's do that, and a uh, bit of luck. I'll get up the right way and plug in the back. Again, SATA connectors will only plug on one way, so you can't go wrong with those either. Assembling a PC is actually easier than it looks. Because uh, you can't even confuse the USB plugs for the audio plugs because they're completely um, different. You can't plug one on the other, thankfully. So, yeah, there isn't really much that you can do to blow up a computer, to be honest. 
Ah, this one's the um, going to go on the board as well. That's the rear chassis fan. Goes on like that. Just make sure the main fan's still connected. This one's for the front fan. I'll just plug that in like that. And to be honest, apart from two screws for the hard drive and the um, CD-ROM drive and these two SATA cables, we're done. <laughs> now just put the side panels on. No, we're not, because I haven't put the friggin' um, video card in, have I? No. SATA. Right. I think he's numbered. Are they numbered? They usually are numbered, but these ones don't appear to be. Yeah, it doesn't matter because the PC will automatically detect anyway. But I'm going to assume that one's number one or zero. For some reason, they start their numbering at zero. I don't know why. Anyone know why? Feeling that one up there. Right. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I haven't figured out where I'm going to power this up yet because the um, table behind me isn't free. Right, those are the last connections. These are easy as well. But you do get different slots, but on modern computers it'll be a PCIe of some description. So, I think I can lift those cables up, yep. There's in there. We just get a screw to lock it in place. It's just a case of uh, putting side panels on and uh, there's extra two screws in the other side. I'll do these screws now. Uh, and I'll do the side panel once I've powered it up and made sure it all works as it should. Oh, my bloody head. They've had paracetamol, but I don't think they've kicked in yet. Right. Yeah, the card reader is sort of built into this, so I just left it there. I thought it's there, I might as well plug it in. Power. Reset. Yeah, I'm not going to put this on, the side covers on, until I've powered it up, just in case I've got any of the... Um, LEDs or switches in the wrong place. I think I read that correctly anyway. So, I suppose the next step is to uh, plug the damn thing in and see if it works. So, uh, that'll be the last part of the video. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, got everything set up so. Almost forgot to turn the fingers on. Nope. I was already on. Uh, For a second there, I thought there was nothing going to happen. Oh, I've got the I've got everything around the right way. Look. Power light, hard drive light. Yay! <clears throat> Sometimes I get the LED cables around the wrong way so they don't light up. But uh, obviously I remembered. So, last job will be, which I'm not going to do on camera because it's boring anyway. It's just to put the side panels on and then connect it up over there. But, uh, I've got Boot this up, 
This is just a Fujitsu Siemens monitor I had kicking around in the kitchen. It's the one I usually use when I'm playing with computers in the kitchen. Same with the mouse and the keyboard. What the hell? Keyboard is not functioning for some reason. I have a non mouse is keyboard isn't keyboard was it wasn't at first but now it is right um. I don't ever remember putting a password on this but I must have there it is still alive it didn't blow anything up that's always a bonus no audio because there's no speakers built into that so I don't know what I'm tired for either. <laughs> right. Turn them leads off for now. I don't need them ones on. <sighs> yeah, but, uh, I ain't got a use for the case. It's not... I haven't broken it, obviously. I've only taken it apart. But uh, I've got... Kept the... Um, Big fans from it. I could put it all together. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's really worth doing anything with it, to be honest. I don't want it. lowering my chair. I don't know why. I lower my chair like that and I'm a bit too bloody low now. Just to stop it rocking so much because it doesn't rock so much the lower it is. But uh, after a while this just seems to raise up by itself. I think the chair's had it. But uh, me being me won't replace it until it completely fails and snaps in half or something. Oh well. That's one hell of a noisy hard drive for an SATA hard drive. I light up fan in the front. It's the back one running. I didn't check that. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I believe that's an AMD processor on that. Dual core, if memory serves correctly. It's a, other than the hard drive, it's actually quite a quiet machine. putting that back together. I don't actually... Well, actually, I know where they are. I just can't remember which ones they are. Light, please. I don't think they're those ones. I think they're these ones down here. Yep, yeah, oh, there's another pair down there. But I believe... Right. I can't remember.
remember which ones they are. Two of them go to my brother's one that's under the cabinet, and two go to this one. Well, I've forgotten which ones are which. It probably didn't help that my bloody zipper keep falling down on these trousers. There's the old uh, Windows XP board. Now, I don't know what was going on with the XP computer I had. Because um, whatever motherboard I put in it, there's an intermittent beep coming from it. So I don't know if that was a power supply issue. It worked. It booted up. It did everything. But I just kept getting this weird beep coming from the system buzzer. Yeah, but it seemed to have did it no matter what motherboard I put in. Anyway, that's what that one is. I can't remember what the processor is on this board. I think it has a gig and a half of memory on it, if I remember correctly. Going by, that's an AMD processor, I can see from here. That's an AMD AGP slot. Audio, I believe. USB, front panel, see some of them aren't colour coded like that but they are in a certain shape on some of them so if you can remember the plug pattern then it shouldn't matter. But if you do get something like, a, if you've got poor eyesight it does actually say on here Power LED, hard drive LED, power switch, reset switch. And they've just got the odd one right on the end here. So if you can remember that pattern, it's the same on pretty much all motherboards. Um, but like I said, it is usually labelled speaker, I suppose, if you've got a system speaker to plug in. USB header. Well, that's audio header. No, it isn't. And say on COM port, that's the audio header. I think. Oh, and this one's got this big old header in here. I don't know what that one's for. Uh, I'm guessing that's for um, BIOS reset. I I'm guessing you stick a uh, jumper on that to reset it as it's right next to the battery. Yeah, there's no SAT on this. How old how this is? It's only um, IDE connectors. Dun dun dun. It's old, but it still works. Old but gold, as I like to call them. Anywho, I'm going to turn. Well, obviously I'm going to turn the camera off, but I'm going to end the video here. Because that's all I wanted to uh, do for this video. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you've uh, got any questions or comments, and feel free to uh, drop them in the uh, comment section down below. And uh, if you liked the video, then please hit the like button, and uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.